January 1st, 1804, kings and queens and warriors stood up to their oppressors and was like, no, nah, this ain't it. And in my veins, 100% of this blood runs through these veins of these kings, these queens, and these warriors. 200 years later, the descendants of these kings and these queens left that island nation and they went to another island called Manhattan. And that queen and that king was named Herman Dulcy Sr. and Felina Dulcy. They wanted to give a better life to the man that stood before you. And the two that came after me, Kevin Dulcy and Kara Dulcy. But here's the problem. My parents prepared me for a world that no longer exists. They told me, listen, go to school, get an education, you're gonna be good. Oh, I finished college, all right, well now that you finished college, go and get your master's degree, you're gonna be good. That world no longer existed because they didn't receive the blueprint that the kings and queens and the warriors of 200 years ago executed on how to be free from their oppressors. My parents didn't have the blueprint to teach me how to be free. So I had to do what? I had to audit my circle. The information they gave me just wasn't enough. I went to two wonderful universities, which will be, remain unnamed right now. I gave them $90,000, and in exchange, I received a whopping $50,000 a year. I graduated with my undergrad, stepped on out with my degree, and I was like, I'm making 39.5. What's up? 39.5. Oh, my bad. Let me go get this master's degree. I came back, got my master's degree. I'm making 55.6. 55.6. I wasn't free yet. I had to audit my circle. I met a man who made $1 million in one day. I met another man who owned millions of dollars in real estate. I met another man who put me on a private jet and I saw the clouds like I've never seen before. Once you have seen success, you cannot unsee it. So now I need to know, how do I get a private jet? How do I own million dollars in real estate? How do I make a million dollars in one day? I had to fire my parents and I had to audit my circle. So I had to go and figure it out. Well, King, Queen, how'd you do it? I got my credit together. I got an LLC. I took it out my mother's name and put it in my business name. I went and got some funding, and I flipped it. Got it. And after I got that information, what did I do? I executed. I audited my circle. I started business with my brothers. We sat in my basement, signed an operating agreement. We said, we're going to do this together because I got the game. Let's go. My brother Eric, who's here tonight, he's like, Hern, man, we're going to buy the Sixers. King, I'm just trying to get these duplexes. <laughs> I need you to focus. He's like, no, no, no. Here is where we buy the Sixers. Audit your circle. Took my wife to Italy. She was given pregnant with my first child, Bella Sloan. I'm on a train. And I had to ask somebody permission to be here for two weeks. I came back and I complained to my brother. And I was like, this is a problem. He's like, unless you own your own, you will never be free. Audit your circle. I talked to my wife. I'm like, listen, I want to quit the six for your job because I'm trying to give Bella Sloan all of my time. I'm trying to give my business all of my time. I'm fasting. I'm praying. I'm thinking about it. I'm scared. She said, fear and faith cannot exist in the same place. 
audit your circle. Who are you around? Who is depositing inside of you? Talked to my bro last night. He said the first line of defense is, who are you laying with? Who are you sleeping with? Who is pillow talking to you? You can do this. You got it. I was listen, reading this book. I was given this game. Here you go. Who are you sleeping with? Are you surrounding yourself with crazy people that are telling you you're going to buy the Sixers and depositing crazy thoughts in your head and holding you responsible? We have to buy the Sixers. King, what did you do today to buy the Sixers? Who was holding you accountable? I had to audit my circle. Listen, God has given us like five minutes here. Not a long time. Four minutes ago, I was 20 years old. Five minutes ago, I was 30. I just celebrated my 40th birthday. And I just got started. I just figured this out. My mentors pushed me to the front of the line. They taught me some games, so I skipped steps. Audit your circle. Your friends are not going to make you rich. Strangers will. Your friends are not going to make you rich. Strangers will. I've been in this room just working it. I've made at least a million dollars. Audit your circle. You know what you're afraid of? You're afraid of failing. I'm not afraid of failing. You know why? Because when I audited in my circle, I realized I need to start dating failure. We started talking every day. Oh, yeah, I was cheating. Me and failure, we was rapping. We was talking every single night. Her last name is Process. Every day I was with her. I started to sleep with her. I started to make love to her. I wasn't afraid of failure anymore. I wasn't affa afraid of the process any longer. I married failure. I married the process. And when I was done, I came out fearless. Audit your circle. How many mentorships have been purchased? How many videos have you bought? How many books have you received? How many workout videos have you purchased and you never press play? Because you was afraid of failure. I can give you all the information in the world. I can tell you how to fix your credit, get this fund, and then flip it 10 times 10. But unless you press play, unless you execute on the information of everybody that has been on the stage, you will just be a scared punk. Audit your circle and execute on the information that you receive. Thank you.